Ladies and gentlemen, I got a treat especial for you this evening. We got a Lenovo T5 Legion. This thing is pretty cool. From everything I'm reading and seeing, there's a real ATX motherboard in here and a real ATX power supply. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen? That means that you can buy a pre-built and literally upgrade it to your heart's content. All right, guys, we are going to bust her open and we are going to get inside this box. So let me go and flip it on its side because it's a little bit too tall for our table here. Should have a pretty big box. And we are going to go ahead and crack this nut open. Uh, one nice thing about this thing is it does come with an i5 six core six thread or six core 12 thread processor 2.2 gigahertz stock with uh 4.440 boost does have a keyboard and mouse which i will show you guys here we'll get a bust on the table once we get this uh guy out of the box so that's what the packing looks like so uh, i will say this is really good packing uh it's better than even some of the hps uh, foam, foam is at least three inches thick. You know what? I have to bust my measurement tool out. And we are sitting at about 2.5 or 2.2 inches of foam. I'd say that's a, that's a nice chunk of foam and they even wrapped it in plastic so it does look nice. Let's get this guy out of the box. See how hard it is to get out. See if it can uh, defeat Tech Nitwit. Ah, it's not too bad. Well, we got more peripherals coming out. That must be our mouse. And this thing is a nice size computer. You normally wouldn't pull it out of the box like this. I'm just doing this to show you guys what, what it's like. Go ahead. And yeah, I mean, look at that foam. You guys can see that. I mean, come on now. That is some nice foam. Holy crap, Lenovo. Good job, guys. Let's guard our ginormous piece of foam. And we even have, it looks like a, a sterile seal, a security seal. So you know nobody else has been in your PC. Go ahead and cut that. Guys, I'm gonna start from the top right here. We got two Super Speed 3.0 uh, ports. These are Gen 1. Uh, USBs, we got a headphones and a microphone, and then of course our trusty dusty power button. Of course some cool Lenovo symbols up on top. And let's uh, swing around to the rear here quick, and let's go through what's on the back. So we have some, some uh, normal USB 2.0s, then we have, sorry, these are the two point, these are 3, 3.21s, uh, Gen 1, then we have a USB-C, which is a 10 gigabit port, and then two more USB 2.0s, a 10, 1000 gigabit ethernet, and then we have a head, another microphone, another headset, and an auxiliary. And then of course we do have a three port GPU back here, so this will support three monitors if you can hook them up and all under here. And we have our normal ATX sized power supply guys, and that's where your power cable is going to go. I think Lenovo knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, to be quite honest, I really think this is going to be an HP killer because it's a proprietary computer that doesn't lock you down on upgrading. You can change the motherboard, you can change the power supply, and it's not a goofy case to where you can't just do nothing with it. It's not like the HP where once you get to that point where you're comfortable and you really want to upgrade, you pretty much got to scrap the case and you're losing some money. With this thing, you are not losing any money. This does come with 8 gigabytes of RAM. I will say that. That is, it should be dual channel. It is. Uh, 3200 megahertz. It's going to be one of the first things you're going to want to upgrade is to dual channel in this thing. It will support up to 128 gigs of RAM. All right, guys, let's get the case sides off. We're going to take a look into the hood, and then we're going to get some benchmarks rocking and rolling to see what this bad thing can score. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just have everything out of the box really quick because I didn't want you to have to suffer through it. But this box, you get a keyboard, and that box, you get a you get a mouse and power cable. I will say this, that does not come with an HDMI cable. I've been asked that before, but let me clear this stuff off the table really quick and then we're gonna bust inside this bad mamma jam and show you and talk about the hardware that's inside. All right guys, one thing I will say is, <sighs> HP, take note, this thing is definitely a small form factor killer, proprietary killer like the TG or the Omen. The Omen, they usually ask two to three to $400 more just for a case like this, just so you can have proprietary funness and it gives, it's nothing but a headache. And I'm not gonna get into it because it's about this unboxing. 
Uh, first off, this thing can be upgraded up to an i9, which is really surprising. I wouldn't do it because the 11th gen had problems with the i9. The most you're going to want to go to is an i7. Or you can do, you can take this whole motherboard out and put an AMD motherboard in there and then go with a Ryzen 7 or even a Ryzen 9. Uh, this does come with a 1660 Super, which is really nice, 6 gigabyte variant. There's 8 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz DDR4 in here, and you can fit a really nice cooler in here. There's also RGB up on the top. There's a, this is all addressable. Uh, the back fan is RGB addressable and the two front fans. Let me go ahead and let's pull off some of this uh, jazz. And then we are going to get an iFixit kit out, and we are going to break this bad mamma jam open. I really like the, how they etched this or mirrored it. It is really cool. I mean, Lenovo did a really nice job. So let's get ourselves an uh, iFixit kit out here, and it looks like we have just thumb screws. Am I going to be strong enough to get them off? No, I'm not. So this is going to be a regular Phillips, probably number two. And let's swing around with the rear with this guy. And then we're going to start with this one right here. All right, guys. Then you're going to take the panel, and you're going to pull forward or back. Oh, sorry, not forward. And it is latched in by little latches right here. So this is actually a really heavy piece of glass. Holy crap, Lenovo. You guys did not cheap that out. I'm going to say that this is huh, at least a quarter of an inch thick piece of glass. Wow. I was not expecting that. Lenovo, you guys have gone crazy. Wow. Look at that, guys. Look at how thick that is. I mean, they did not cheap out on the glass here. And now I'm getting fingerprints all over my nice, fancy new computer. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So here's our 1650. Of course, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to estimate that you're going to have enough room, if you really wanted to, to put a 3090 in here. Break out our trusty, dusty measurement tool. To our fan base, we are looking at almost 12 inches. Um, Lenovo's not messing around. I'm going to say that this thing's going to be an HP killer. HP, take notice, guys. They are not messing around with this. And, it, and the price tag of this thing, for 900, for 900 buckaroos, you're off to the races gaming with the 1660 Super and uh, an i5 uh, 6 core 12 threads. I mean, of course, the only thing you're going to want to do right up the bat is order a kit for about 60 or 80 bones and get a and get a dual channel RAM kit because no computer that is gaming or doing anything that's graphic intensive or even app intensive should be running single channel. The computer wants it. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, refer to my uh, dual channel RAM video and you'll see what I'm talking about. So guys, it looks like we have our M.2 right here, if you guys could see that. Get you up and close with the GoPro. We could see that our M.2 slot is right here. And it, it is a 256 gigabyte M.2 NVMe. It also comes with a one terabyte 7200 RPM uh, spinning disk disc. That's gonna be in the back side. I will take that cover off for you guys once we flip this around. Uh, as you can see, we only have a single DIMM and we do have four DIMM slots, which is up to 128 gigabytes of RAM. I think I said that in the first. We do have four SATA ports. So we got two right here and another two right here. So you can put up to three uh, SSDs or if you wanted to remove the spinny disc, you put up to four SSDs in here. You might have to stick one to the case um, of course, we do have some really nice fans. They, you know, Lenovo didn't cheap out on fans. I'm not going to say they're not to a grade, but they are definitely nice case fans, uh, just from looking at the build quality of them. So let's show you guys that shrouded area in the back. Got another two, another two screws that we got to take out here, and that just pulls back, and that is our side panel off. There is no sound dampening, but they at least did paint it. So it's not uh, just brushed metal. Lenovo does have a really nice uh, upgrading screen if you want to try to upgrade through Lenovo. If not, you don't have to stick with Lenovo's upgrading path. You can stick anything in this PC you want. You can stick a different motherboard, different graphics card, different processor. This case is universal. So it looks like right off the bat we have an SSD mount cage right here for one SSD. And then we have two more right here. And it looks like it's a, a Seagate. Uh, hard drive, a 7200 RPM Seagate, and then of course our wonderful 80 plus 
And if we look, it is a normal 24 pin going to the motherboard, which is not a common thing to see on a pre-built. This is what I'm talking about, 24 pin when I say that. This is a 24 pin connector right here. And they even have, it looks like the extra uh, six plus two pin for the graphics card zip tied nice and neat for you. They did a nice job with this case. Of course, the first thing I would probably do after replacing the dual channel RAM would be upgrading this to a, a, a decent sized cooler to get rid of some of that heat. Not that this little thing doesn't do its job, but if you're gonna be gaming and you want this thing to last a long time, I would. One thing that's really cool, guys, is this will support um, a 240 millimeter radiator up top. If you look, it's got all the screw holes to put it in there. Give me a second and I will get this apart for you guys to see what I am talking about. Okay, guys. So to get this top portion off right here, this screen, there's a couple little buttons on top right here. It's, there's one in that. One. And then your whole screen comes up. So this is where you'd put your radiator. So you could either do a 120, 240, um, of course, and then the price point. You can't ask for a better price point. They're not saying, oh, well, we're gonna let you be, we're gonna let you upgrade your PC, but we're gonna charge you another two, three, four, five hundred dollars just so you can upgrade your computer. Even Dell with the Alienware puts a proprietary power supply in there. You just scratch your head like, what's going on here, guys? Why am I stuck with this? And if you watch my Alienware Smash video, you see why I smashed that stupid case, because it's stupid. All right, guys, one thing I do want you to be aware about is that on their site, they say that this supports four monitors. Some of the other graphics cards might, but this one will not. It has a one DVI-D, it has an HDMI, and then it has a display port. So it gives you a good wide option. You know, and the other thing I was looking on here, this board has a lot of fan headers. There's one, two, three, and that controller on the back. So, I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna run out of fan headers. It also has a Wi-Fi uh, 6, uh, card right here so for Wi-Fi 6 goodness I don't know if you guys can see that right down in there it's another M.2 slot it's one of the short M.2 slots uh, there is another M.2 slot right at the bottom right down here too so this thing is locked and loaded and I even see another fan header down here at the bottom I do see that they have a 1x uh, PCI E uh, slot so if you have a daughter card or a sound card or something you want to put at the bottom you can that's right down here, guys. Get you some light. There you go. Everything in this is upgradable. I could take every part out of this computer and put it in my computer that I, I literally edit the channel with, and everything would work. I wouldn't have any compatibility problems. So guys, that being said, um, I'm gonna have to give this six thumbs up of approval. I've never done that before, but yeah. Uh, and then just the, the way they have this grill on the top, it's like they really thought it out. Like, hey, let's make sure our, we can clean it. All right, Tech Nitwidians, we are almost done with this overview of this video, but I just wanted to grab a regular power supply out. This is a standard ATX power supply, an 850. This would easily handle a 3090. I just want to show you guys how easily that would fit in there. And yeah, so you would have no problems putting a normal uh, ATX. I think you could even get a thousand watt in here if you really, really wanted to. Another treat is special. This thing just keeps giving. Uh, something you don't see on proprietary computers is this is a freaking fan filter that you can clean. Of course, it is retained by a screw. I would probably take this screw out and leave it out because, of course, nobody wants to deal with that screw. But you go ahead and pull that, and clean this guy off because it's sucking from here and blowing out here. And yeah, even they even paid attention to the wire management in here. Like, really paid attention. So, I mean, HP, you're gonna have to up your game. Like, everybody else is gonna have to up your game. Look at this, I mean, they got sticky tabs where they, they, didn't, they couldn't uh, attach a wire. This is an RGB addressable controller, and it's gonna allow you to control your RGB goodness. Also, if you wanna clean the front, this is removable. You gotta kinda manhandle it. So let's go like that. Uh, the front panel wires are still connected, but it does let you kinda get out here so you can get in here and clean. There are a bunch of wires that you want to be careful with, but it's got its logo, the RGB logo, and then you can clean in here. And then it just snaps in. Lenovo, you, guys, Lenovo, the engineering and thought that went into this PC, hands down. I know you're probably like Techno, but there's enthusiast grade PCs that have all this stuff, of course. But for a proprietary company to finally just get it, Lenovo has done it. Lenovo has knocked it out of the park, guys. All right, let's get the benchmark done. We're gonna run a Time Spy DirectX 12 and see where this uh, PC lands. Hey, Tech Nidwidians, we are back here and we just got done running a benchmark and 
I am going to want to see the difference when I install dual channel RAM, but uh, yeah, our 3D Mark Time Spy, uh, that's DirectX 12 benchmark, scored 5,869. And our first graphics score was 33.20, and our second was 37.03. So I have that flipped around. The first one was 37, and the second one was 33. Our GPU got a 22.91 FPS, and our GPU score was 6,820. That score is going to change if you add dual channel RAM because, well, just watch my video on it and you will understand. Of course, you can see the cool RGB in here, guys. That's kind of neat. It's got some awesome looking fans in the front. And then you look in the side, they got a light up top here that gives you the ambiance. Looks a very nice ambiance. And of course, an RGB fan in the rear. I, you know, the only couple things I would say to upgrade if you bought this piece and you're like, hey, Technet, well, what should I start with? Dual channel RAM keyboard and mouse so you can get your peripherals in line so you can really game and then I would say definitely a, a heat sink on here to get rid of dissipate that heat faster uh, after that because then we're kind of the cheapies out of the way I would see if I could score an AMD graphics card because well the current mining and chip shortage right now you are looking at it's almost impossible to get a decently priced NVIDIA card if you can get like a 6700 XT or even a 6800 6800 XT, that thing's going to rock and roll and you're going to be playing some 2K, 4K awesomeness. So guys, this was Tech Nitwit and I give this six thumbs up of approval because holy crap did it blow my freaking mind. Guys, of course, if you like the video, like the video, dislike the video, dislike the video, you have any questions, concerns, comments about this PC or other PCs, throw them down in the comment section down below. I will get back to you. I will have some links to where you can pick this PC up down in the description down below. Uh, Amazon, Best Buy, that sort of stuff. And uh, other than that, guys, this is Tech Nitwin, and I'm out, y'all.